Yes. Can everyone hear me? This one? Yeah. Everyone in the back can hear me? If you can't hear me, raise your hand. Okay, that would be stupid. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to talk about this project I've been involved in for like a couple of months. I am not the owner. Uh, the owner apparently has had a son and he likes his biological son better than his digital son, so I'm here. Um, it's about Remuco, which uh, basically you can use your mobile phone to interact with your favorite, favorite media player. Currently, that's what we support. But it's not just a remote control. I mean, it has some features, um, pretty common, like play, pause, next. You can track a player's state information. You can edit a, a media library. You can rate your tracks and everything. But it's also bigger than that. We are starting to create adapters for things like Ocular. If you want to use your cell phone to present something, maybe a lightning talk, and I would demonstrate it here, but, well, I don't have a USB Bluetooth dongle, so, well. Um, currently, these are the use cases. You can rate or label tracks. You can see track information. Um, you can always let everyone else control your media player if, you're, well, if you can trust them enough. enough. Um, you can browse your media library while enjoying the sun in the garden. Maybe in Berlin that's not really useful because, well, it's cold all the time, I, I hear. Oh, how, how does it work? You have a client with a Java ME uh, enabled um, program and uh, Android's in the works. Uh, basically, you either connect via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and um, in the server side, it's Python, so it's um, comfortable to, contr to, to program. Uh, we're implementing network communication. It's a generic player interface, so all you have to do is you have to create your own player adapter if you're not currently uh, supported by Remuco. Um, you import the server module and you start your own class, and it's really easy. All you have to do is uh, uh, override the methods, and it works, just works like Apple, oh, well. Um, so the player adapters are the in intermediate uh, code between the, uh, the actual player and the server. It can be a plugin too, or it can also be a standalone script which you run in the background. Um, we are, well, we have quite a, a, a code base right now. We are a gigantic community of maybe four, and, well, we need you. We need more people to test. We need a lot more people to code. Well, we are aiming for world domination, so if you can, uh, if you can understand a little Python, oh, you don't have to, but um, all you have to do is edit a template that we have to, to create our own media play, uh, sorry, our own player adapter. And um, one minute, okay, that's enough. Um, we are Currently trying to implement an Android client, but well, Android people are always welcome. Uh, we are trying to remove the uh, Java ME necessity if uh, we can get a, a web client, uh, web server running on the on the PC. Then you can just open your browser and the the cell phone, and then you don't have to have Java. Um, we're using Dbus some of the times. Some of the other times we are just uh, adding a front end to the player itself. So get in touch, help us. Uh, that's the Google Code project. You have a mailing list. The source code, it's mirrored in GitHub and Bitbucket. If you happen to like Mercury over Git, well, it's, nobody's perfect. And there's also the Twitter and the Identica if you want to come. Or if you just want to have some idea and talk to me, I'll be here. My name is Igor. It's not on the slide because Open is the one that did it, not me. So that's it. Thank you for listening, and please, I welcome you in our project. Well, thank you so much, Seeker. Okay. Um, well, thank you. Uh, Kirsten.